Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different from any other video that I've posted in the last couple of months and also weeks. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing. Now I do want to throw out a disclaimer. These products were solely purchased by myself. I'm not affiliated or a sponsor for this company. I just really like the product and I wanted to share it with all of you based off of some of the feedback that I've been getting on both platforms, both my YouTube and mostly my Instagram. So I wanted to clear the air and kind of do an unboxing so that you guys could see for yourself what you would be getting if you purchased from this company. Okay, so I have two parcels here. They are from the company Clever Fox and I purchased two daily planners, um, the second edition, and then I purchased a weekly. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the dailies first because I actually have the daily, the 2.0 version, or the second version. But mine's is all decked out, and I have got a question. Somebody had asked, uh, how did I set it up? And really, honestly, I didn't do too much to set it up. Um, I basically just did like decoration elements, but nonetheless, I wanted to show you exactly what you would be getting if you had purchased from this company. So this is the brand Clever Fox, and this came from the website. So you can purchase through Amazon, and you can also purchase through uh, their website. If you purchase th from their website, um, you have the option to use Afterpay, which I do for stuff that costs a little bit more than what I want to spend in an amount, um, but I never go over like 50, I think. Um, this purchase was actually about 80 something, and that's only because I got two dailies um, and a weekly, but the prices for the dailies are, well, the price for the second edition, I think it's like $26 on their website. And uh, I wanna say it's about the same on Amazon. And then the third version, which is the more minimalistic look without the colors, the harsh lines, that one's about $34. So that's probably the next one that I might uh, purchase just to see and try out. Um, but nonetheless, I got these, they're both undated. So when you get your package, um, if it's coming from Amazon, it will come in like a little, you know, Amazon box or baggie. Um, but if they're coming from the website, they'll come in a box. But I got these and so we'll, we'll just open one because they're both the same. Initially, this is how it's going to come. It's gonna come in a box and the box is gonna be wrapped in this plastic which I appreciate because it helps prevent the planner from getting wet. Open it up. Take it out of the packaging. And then this is your box. So this is a very st sturdy box. Um, so definitely useful for storing your planner when you're finished. Um, if I had to think about it, I actually use these boxes to store like um, pens and like washi, like miscellaneous stuff just to help declutter. I'm actually going to go ahead, I don't think I need this, so let's close that. I'm actually going to go ahead and open this one just so it's good to go. So that's the weekly. All right, so this is the daily. And when you get your planner and spin it around, <laughs> open it up. Is it upside down? It's upside down. So when you spin it around, open it up. Um, your booklet is actually your user's manual. So this is a manual. It will tell you exactly how to use this planner. It's your introduction to this planner. It's, um, 
examples and explanations for all the sections. So like I was saying in the last video that I filmed about my daily planners, you have your daily rituals and then you have some explanation here about you know skills and habits and your daily rituals. You have a vision board, you have a road map, um, goal setting pages, your focus. So it's basically a entire user's manual for how to navigate each section of this planner. So this is helpful for those who may not be familiar with how to use this planner but want to get an idea of where to start because it is a planner with multiple sections. Also, it's a good thing that they put it in a booklet and not necessarily in the book itself because the book is already pretty thick, but just to know the book um, has a lot of, you know, like pages already in sections, you don't need to have this as a part of that, okay? So you have your user's manual and then take it out of the box. Then you have your planner. So your planner comes wrapped. And again, another piece of plastic. So the box is wrapped, then the planner itself is wrapped. This is extra precaution just to make sure that your planner doesn't get wet. But inside the box, and this time around I got purple. Last time I got periwinkle, and I also had bought a red color. For this planner, you get a uh, warranty card. So this is your warranty card. It's a no hassle warranty. So if for any reason within 60 days you decide you don't like your purchase, you don't care for this, it's not working out for you, you can return it. And again, a perk to this company because who wouldn't want to try something without feeling like you're obligated to sticking with that purchase because you purchased it? Like. If I at some point decide that this isn't it for me within these 60 days, I could just send it back. So good little uh, ad. So again, you have your, uh, what is this? Your user manual, your warranty, and then all the planners come with stickers. The first version, which I'm just gonna say the OG version, comes with a different set of stickers and the second version comes with these foiled stickers. So you just have some basic like boxes, check boxes, appointments, banners, icons. Um, they're paper uh, stickers, so nice. Check boxes, pretty standard stuff. Um, you can also order sticker books and sticker kits from their site as well. So keep that in mind if you want to purchase through them. They have so many different things. Like I could have bought all my stuff on there um, because I was like, once I tried it, I just fell in love with it. But that's neither here or there. I digress. I wanted to show you about this. So this, let's see if I can move you guys down just a little bit. Zoom you in. Okay. So this, like I said, is the daily planner. And we're going to go ahead and open it up. I'm going to make sure to keep this little plastic because I'm probably going to put it back in the plan or on the planner. All right, so you get this um, wrap around thing for your planner. Basically, it's just like the sleeve. The color that I got is purple, like I said. Um, if you can see that, this is like a little gold um, icon or logo. Usually on the original one, it's just a imprint or like an embossing. It's not gold like this, but this one and the third version comes with this like foil, um, what you call it, like logo. And when you open it up, it goes straight into your planner. So. You have your um, who this planner belongs to page, and then you go right into your daily rituals, your daily gratitude, a space for vision board, your my goals section, your my focus, mind map, 
um, important dates. I think the first version does not come with an important dates section. So it's good to know that this one does. Um, and then you go into your first calendar. And then your first calendar um, looks like this. Um, and all the, all the months are different colors. So you have purple, red, orange, green, and so on. I'm also noticing a difference with this planner than I'm noticing with the one I'm using, but we'll get to that. Um, so in this little section here, like I said, you have your habits, skills to learn, things to avoid, places to go, and people to see. And then you have a this month's goal and this month's wins, how I'll improve for next month type section. This is a Sunday start planner. However, it doesn't matter if you start on a Sunday with a month because following the days, they're undated and you can start this on any day of the week that you so choose. So this little section over here that I didn't show last time is basically your weekly layout. So you have your this week um, or week of section where you can write the week and then you have your this week's main goal and then what your reward is going to be for that. And then you have a space for this week's priorities. You have a work to do list, which has a split here. So you have a left and a right. You have a personal to do list. You have your habits and skills. And then down at the bottom, you have a work life balance to do list. So um, the way I've been using it lately is writing out some life areas that I would like to like work on and then putting them in the habit tracker so I can see how often I'm doing it. So that's how that looks. Then your actual daily page has a today's priorities and then you can do day goals. You have a schedule. This schedule goes from six to nine and there's a second line here so you can do half hours. You have a to-do list and then you can rate your productivity. I tend to not do that at all. All right, so when you get to the end of the week, you have your weekly notes and then you have a weekly review where you can check off if you achieved your goal, you can reward yourself if you have, um, what your week's wins are, and then you have your basic questions, your whys, and what you learn and your progress and how you would like to improve. So that's basically your reflection. And then it goes back into your week um, overview and then your daily page. And so there is five um, weeks in each section. And that is all the way through. Choo, choo, choo. All right, all the way through. And then it goes into the next month. Next month, new color. And so on, okay? At the back of this planner, you have a pocket. You also have some dot grid pages. Not a whole lot, but you have a good chunk of dot grid pages back here. Okay, let's count. Let's see, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 pages of dot grid that you can use to make a collection of some sort and then you also have like your book band your ribbon three bookmarks come in this planner um, i know this is big for people who use the bookmarks so they are a little short um, i tend to not use them because of this but they are a little short but you have a little wiggle room so you can get to um, your pages if you just pull it to the end. It's just a little short for my liking. So that is the daily planner, okay? And it is binded, book bounded, or stitched rather, and then your pen loop is stitched. Just a nice little addition. Feels good in the hand. This is heavy. It's thick. It's real thick. And that's your daily planner, okay? Now, what I want to do is show you guys the comparison. So I don't actually have the weekly. What I have is the daily. And 
that's the comparison that I can do. So this is the one that I just showed you, and then this is the same one. This is what I've been using. And so when someone asks me how I set this up, how I, how I customize this, basically I just did what anybody would do is just add stickers, add paper, all the decorative stuff that you can find at your local Hobby Lobby or Michaels or whatever craft store that you have. I tend to add tabs to mine. This just helps me um, find sections better, know what months are in my book. Um, you can also use uh, archival stickers when you're done to you know differentiate what month or what year the book was. Um, I use this book, so it's chunky, it's grown. I use this book a lot. Um, I also like to use undated tabs. Again, all the things that I find have been from Hobby Lobby. I put a patch on mine. I added a pocket in here. Someone had asked me about like this setup. I added all of this stuff to it. These planners don't come, as you just saw. They don't come with a full length pocket here and you know a decorated inside they don't come with you know all that stuff that mine has these are all things that i added to my planner to basically make it unique to me um the like the rituals my rituals page this is all stuff that i took time to set up decorate and do for myself even including the background and things for my vision board. I just used a photo printer. Um, let's see. I just used a photo printer. Where is the my map? A photo printer and stuff and some decorative paper to basically lay that out because it literally just looks like a blank slate. Um, and then as far as like my focus area, I did the same thing. I used stickers to decorate this side and add things and yeah, basically that's all that I did. So it's not a it's not a planner that you can't make fully yours or use as you want. Um, some prime examples from like my daily pages without sharing too much. It's like I like to use sticky notes. Um, I write all over these pages. These are just like examples. I add in a weekly like sticky note just so you can see for yourself. Like you can make it unique to you. You know what I mean? So this is how I've done it in the back. Um, I don't know if I want to reserve that for a different video, but in the back, you know, I've started adding, you know, different things. And um, yeah, that's basically it. And then like as far as like reflection pages and stuff go. Let me see where 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 as far as reflection pages and things like that go here I think okay so yeah like I was saying as far as reflection I just use you know, like ballpoint pen and stuff but you can use um, you can use markers and stuff in here they don't bleed this is just regular highlighter these are the big highlighters and then these right here, these little dots here, the oh hoo hoo markers, which tend to bleed through a lot of stuff, including like the plum paper planner paper. But I haven't had that issue with this planner, as you can see. These are the dots. There's no bleed through. Okay, so what I was saying, what I felt different about this planner versus this purple one here, is the paper to me felt slightly thinner, like this one. I don't know if you can hear that feels thick but this one here like as I'm flipping through it feels slightly thinner now that I'm okay now that I have them together maybe it's just because I have a bunch of stuff on it so that could be the reason why but when I was flipping through it it did feel kind of thin so um, I think it's the same paper weight I'm not really sure what the paper weight is I'd have to go back on the site to check but this is what it says um, last six months there are exactly six months in this planner you have habit trackers affirmations gratitude daily review sections weekly review sections monthly reviews and all that great stuff to help you accomplish some of your goals if you're using it for goals if not you can use it as a regular smegular planner like I'm using it I'm using it for personal life balance though not specifically for my family but more so for some of the things that I want to accomplish for myself hence why I extended a lot of this 
and went in depth with a lot of this um, in detail because I wanted it to be more centered around some of the things that I wanted to focus on. So that's basically what the 2.0 daily looks like. That's what you get. And again, all I did was personalize it so that it was personal to me, so that it was more inviting to use. And because this planner is a hardbound, has a book band, it doesn't need a cover, but you can put a cover on it. It is an A5 size. Um, if I didn't already mention that, you can put a cover on it, but I chose, like, it's already got a book band. It doesn't need a cover, so. And so far, I've been bullying this, throwing it around. As you can see, it's chunked out to the max. If you can't see that, it's chunked out to the max. It's bulked up with all my things, all the things I'm using, all the stuff I have in it. So as you can see, it can take some beating and so far it's holding up really, really well. So I would say yes to this. All right, so let's move on, let's move on. Now one planner that I have not tried is the Weekly. Um, move that out the way. I have not tried the Weekly planner. It's just not a planner that I thought about trying, so let's go ahead and look inside here again you get the same kind of contents you use a manual and I got the same color you get you get a set of stickers your warranty card and then this is actually light again this is a5 it's the second edition so just like the dailies they have a first second and third edition they actually have more versions of the weekly all right so this is new to me um feels different but again still really nice let's go ahead and check it out so users page you get the same contents my gratitude my daily rituals my vision board your goals uh my focus and mind map important dates and then you get your monthly and then that's your weekly right there so in the weekly version um, you get your Monday through Friday or Monday through Sunday I'm sorry so like I said the daily the daily starts on a Sunday right however or I'm sorry the monthly starts on a Sunday but the daily doesn't have any dates on it hence it's undated so this is the same thing it's undated the month starts on a Sunday but your actual week starts on a Monday okay so you have your Monday through Sunday Saturday and Sunday are split boxes I hate when companies do that I think that they deserve their own full space but there's so much room in this planner to play with, you can make it work, okay? Same thing like the daily, you have your weekly main goal, your priorities. This time you actually have a space for notes. They took that part away in the daily planner. I wish they would get rid of the rate your productivity spot in the daily and just put a note section there, but you actually get a note section in the um, premium edition the premium daily edition so you have your basic og you have your second edition which is what these are and then you have the premium or the pro so these are like your premiums and then you have a pro edition which is like your minimalistic look there's no colors there's no frills it's basically just black and white and it has a little bit more um, than these two models or than the first and the second model but you have a note section, you have a personal to do, a habit tracking, uh, blah, blah, blah. what a habit tracker, your week's wins, and how you'll improve next week. In the monthly version, on the daily, you have your month's wins and uh, how you'll improve for next month. And then at the end, I think it's at the end of the dailies, I want to say, let's double check because I want to, I want to be accurate when I'm like mentioning this. I don't know if it's in, let's see. Okay, so you do. So you have your week's wins 
and then it goes into your review section. So you have this similarly, similarly in the daily, like your wins and stuff, but then you also have it in your weekly here. So your weeks, wins and things like that down at the bottom. Um, it looks like the same kind of layout. So instead of uh, all your weeks and all your months together, it goes month, then weeks, then month, then weeks. And it's like that all the way throughout the entire planner, just like the daily. So let's get to the end of the, the weeks and see what we have. Okay, so no reflection pages in this. You basically just get your weeks and your month and that's it. And then you go into your next month and it just repeats itself. Let's see, at the back of the planner, if you didn't just see me flipping through that, at the very back of the planner, you have quite a few dot grid pages. So whereas in the daily you've got like 15, this is way, way more than 15. So you get quite a bit back there. So whatever you wanna do, whether you wanna put collections of some stuff, trackers of things, list of things, commonplace back here, it's here for you to do. All right, so just a recap of these two planners. These are the second edition, so side by side, second edition planners. They are both purple, although I will say that this looks on camera and in real life, the daily looks a little bit darker purple than the weekly. They're textured, so I don't know if you can see that, but it is textured a little bit. Um, if we're comparing thickness, your daily here, your weekly there. So that's your thickness for each planner, okay? Um, each planner comes with a pen loop, as you see there. Each planner comes with a book band, as you see there. And each planner comes with a back pocket, as you see there, a set of stickers, and a warranty card and its own little personal box, okay? And just in case um, you wanna see what that says, it's a 12 month weekly planner. It's color coded sections, months and weeks together, monthly and weekly reviews, affirmations and gratitude, monthly calendar spreads, goal trackers and habit trackers and extra dotted pages for notes. So this is what you get in this planner. So technically speaking, with two dailies and a weekly, you have a entire set for the year. This is what your entire year would look like with three books, opposed to uh, if I had originally went with um, the Passion Planner, I would have ended up with four weeks, or I'm sorry, four books of dailies and one weekly book. With this company, you end up with two daily books and one weekly book so three books opposed to like five much better deal price point is 26 to 27 dollars for any one of them the weekly is 27 or 26 the daily is 26 or 27 so roughly speaking you're making a good investment with this planner opposed to the passion planner in my personal opinion i think both are nice but i personally like this one for my budget friendly option and also just convenience because you can get it on amazon and also it has just about all the same things that the passion planner pretty much offers so yes to this um, i also wanted to show one other product that i have purchased um, that you can also get so for all my book readers they do have regular dot uh, journals so if you're looking for like a like a regular notebook from the company they do sell those as well and just like the planners these come with stickers these come with a pen loop uh, an elastic band and all the good stuff that you get in the boxes with the planners. These also come with that as well. Um, this one, however, didn't come in a box. It just come in. It just came in like a little wrap. But this one is the book journal, and I just wanted to show this for 
uh, purposes of like if you're looking for a book journal or something to keep a collection of things um, I think their bullet journals come with a table of contents section so just keep in mind but I highly I highly recommend the company in itself the quality is unmatched it's very nice um, it gives me vibes or feels of like the plum planner with the colors and things like that so some things that I liked with the plum planner this gives me feels of that although the plum planner is much much more expensive than this um, but yeah you get like an index in the book journal and then you get your uh, reading log which is just your months and then you get your reading tracker and then your reading or books to read your TBR list you get quite a few pages for this and then you get your actual book um, review pages and yeah you get like a little wheel that you can color in you can rate the book um, you can write all the book details here and you can break down you know like your reviews for the book I still need to finish this wheel and there's one other book that I need to uh, finish working on and then I need to add another book so yeah and then um, I want to say you get a few lined pages in the very back it seems like that's a common standard is to just give a couple of little lined note pages or dot pages in the back um, so you get pages in the back for extra stuff. These pages are numbered. And there are a total of 128 pages. So technically you can do about 55 reviews in this book. I've already checked. So yeah, you guys, those are the Clever Fox products that I was raving about, sharing on my channel. And then I ended up getting quite a few questions about some of these products. So i wanted to share them with you i hope you liked today's video let me know what you guys think and i will see you guys in my next planner related video bye guys